What's up everybody? Tim here, the Greyhound Guru, back with another Greyhound bus video. It's been about a month since I made a video, took a little break, a little hiatus, but I'm back now. And today's topic is carry-on luggage. Um, I've mentioned kind of the regulations around carry-on luggage in other videos, but I never made a video solely devoted to carry-on luggage, and I had a few questions about it recently, so I wanted to uh, take the time make a brief video about it. Um, basically, just real quick, uh, Greyhound allows you to bring one uh, carry-on bag on the bus up to 25 pounds for free. Now, let me just go ahead here and say that they're pretty lax about this. Um, if you have two bags, they're pretty small, you'll be okay. Uh, I've never seen a driver stop somebody and be like, hey, uh, that's more than two carry-on bags. Basically, if the bags look kind of carry-on size, you're probably not going to have a problem. Um, and they don't really make you weigh your carry-on bags. So if it's 26 pounds, not going to be a problem. Once again, like I said, from my experience, uh, your carry-on bag, they don't even bother with it. Uh, your check bags, though, weigh, um, just to make sure they're not over 50 pounds. But your carry-on bags, they really don't bother with them. And if you have, like, a backpack and some other bag, they're not really going to bother with you. Uh, basically, the bag has to fit under your chair or in the overhead bin. And if it looks like you can do that with the bags you've got, there's not going to be a problem. Now, if you try to bring a huge suitcase on as your carry-on, they're probably going to stop you and say, hey, you need to check that bag. Especially if the bus is packed. Um, it's a route that's usually full. The driver may say something. Uh, but typically, if a bag looks like a carry-on, even if you have more than one, they're not going to say anything. It's really not worth the driver's time. Uh, so I've seen people bring, you know, up to three bags. They stash one under the seat. They have one in their lap. They put one in the overhead bin. Um, I've had, had people had to put them in the overhead bin over other people's seats. But basically, as long as you can get it on the bus and get it stashed away somewhere, you're going to be okay. Um, I've had people ask me, like, what are the dimensions of the overhead bin and, and the under the seat uh, storage container? I've looked all over the Greyhound website, and they don't have any dimensions as to, like, what your carry-on bag can be. This is odd. You know, if you fly on a plane, they're big about that. Not over 22 inches, whatever, you know. Uh, but on Greyhound, they don't tell you. I basically just say, um, if you, you know, it's basically kind of the same size as on a plane. Uh, so if you flew before and you had a carry-on bag, it'll fit. Uh, if you haven't, um, basically kind of your standard small uh, luggage uh, kind of thing, a luggage or like a backpack, something like that. Um, it's just, just kind of a, a small suitcase, 22 inches, you know, kind of tall. Um, I've actually had kind of a medium sized suitcase I brought on as a carry on and I just kept pushing on it and jamming on it and I got it in the overhead bin. Um, so, you know, I can't really tell you the exact size, but you kind of know if you've got a bag and it's over 30 pounds, uh, it probably needs to be checked. It's probably not going to be carry on. If you've got anything 30 pounds or less, uh, and it's not like huge dimensions, if it's kind of your standard uh, square rectangular uh, bag or it can be smushed down pretty easily and fit somewhere, probably going to be able to use as a carry on. Like I say, uh, a lot of people, you know, they get a little nervous. They were like, well, you know, hey, I have a, a backpack, but I want it to, you know, I have some boots with me or I have something else I want to take with me. Are they going to charge me for that? Nah. If you can get it in the bag, uh, if you can stuff it in your carry-on, or if you have just kind of a smaller bag uh, you want to take with you that has something that you don't really want to put in your suitcase with you, they'll let you bring that on the bus. Um, I've done that before. Uh, I've strapped shoes to my carry-on bag. I've had just kind of a small, like, kind of a... Uh, a uh, briefcase or something like that or just a small kind of Walmart bag with extra clothes in it all kinds of little things like that they'll let you bring on the bus as long as you can stash them away somewhere um, I had a lot of people ask me too uh, about putting you know something that maybe they didn't want to just shove in the overhead bin or under the seat can they put in the seat next to them uh, the answer to this is yes and no if you're on a full bus on a packed bus which happens a lot you probably there's gonna be someone sitting next to you you're not gonna be able to put anything in the seat there uh, you can put it in front of you, uh, between your legs and the seat in front of you, but there's going to be very little room there, so don't count on that. Uh, now, if you're on a route that isn't very packed, yeah, you can put it in the seat next to you. It's no problem, as long as no one sits there. Um, so, that, it's yes and no, depending on the route. I will also say, too, that I have ran into bus drivers that would walk up and down the aisle before they drove off and make sure that there was nothing in the seat next to you because they said you pay for one seat not two um, so you will run into this sometimes all you have to do is just take it out the seat next to you 
put it down in front of you or something until the driver pulls off, then put it back in the seat next to you because they're not going to come back there again. Uh, but just keep that in mind. Some drivers can't get a little anal like that. But typically, um, if there's no one in the seat next to you, you can put your carry-on bag there. Um, I do that a lot. Um, if I know the bus is going to be packed, I, I don't put anything there. If the bus looks like it's not going to be packed, I'll put something there. Uh, I'll put my carry-on bag in the seat next to me. Uh, and that kind of deters people from sitting next to me as well, too. Uh, so just kind of to rehash here, carry-on bag, Greyhound says you can bring one on. You can typically get away with bringing more than one. As um, long as they're small bags, you're going to be okay. Just don't get, try don't try to get crazy with it, or the driver might be like, yeah, you're going to have to go check that. Um, and don't worry too much about the 25-pound rule. They don't typically weigh uh, carry-on bags. It's really not worth the hassle uh, for Greyhound. If it looks like it's a carry-on, you know, just... It, just tell them it's your carry-on. They usually won't weigh it. Um, I recommend personally, and I mentioned this in my uh, uh, my travel essentials video, I recommend like a backpack. I think that's the best way to travel, um, the best carry-on bag to have. Now, if you got a lot of stuff and you need to put it in some luggage or something like that, okay, I understand. But if you're just going on a brief trip and you're going to have a few outfits and maybe your, uh, you know, your, your, your toiletries, things like that, I definitely recommend a backpack. Um, it's easy uh, to put stuff in it. You can roll your clothes up, uh, fold them up real tight, get a lot of clothes in a backpack. Excuse me if you see me swatting and all this. There's mosquitoes and gnats out here in the woods. But a um, uh, backpack, it's got uh, zippers. It's easy to put in front of you. Unzip it, pull out whatever you need. It's got uh, you know bottle holders on the side. You can put some water in there. It's also great too for when the bus stops. Uh, you can take your you know when it stops uh, at little breaks. You can take your backpack off the bus with you. Super easy. Put it on your back. Walk around the store. Go use the bathroom. Um, and that way you don't have to leave it on the bus. If you've got a suitcase or something, you're gonna look crazy lugging it around the 7-Eleven every break. Uh, you know, or, or or the McDonald's every time the bus stops for a break. But a backpack, super easy, take it with you everywhere, um, jam stuff down in it, it can jam it under the seat, overhead bin. Uh, so that's what I recommend, taking a backpack as your carry-on. Uh, so hopefully this video answered some other questions people might have had about carry-on luggage. If I didn't, um, you can leave me a message in the comment box and I will get back to you as soon as possible, usually in a couple days. Um, or you can check out greyhoundbusguru.com uh, for... Uh, lots of other frequently asked questions. Um, check out my other videos because I talk about a lot of Greyhound bus topics. Uh, and if you can't find, uh, you know, a video or, or article I've wrote about any of this, just, you know, leave me that question. Say, hey, uh, I need to know more about this on the Greyhound bus. And if I don't know, I'll do my research and I'll either get back with you uh, via the comments or I will make a video about it. So thanks for watching. I'm Tim, the Greyhound bus guru. I'll talk to you later.